Hello and welcome to another video tutorial on Nimble.js. In this video tutorial, it's going to be my first one where I give you a good look at web components and how they can be designed and laid out in Nimble IDE. In front of us, we're looking at a simple web component that you might want to build that contains a label control and a text box. This allows you to um, lay out um, objects that's going to collect data with a caption already attached to it. You know, it's one seamless object. In other frameworks, you would just wrap it in a div so that the uh, HTML would parse itself. Well, by laying it out on this um, editor, uh, Nimble will do that for you. But you get all the benefits and all the core features that come with Nimble. At the same time, I created another combo box um, control. The label has a name of caption and the combo box gets a name of value so that whatever you call this web control it's dot caption and dot value to read the elements within it but that's not why i wanted you to see i wanted you to take a look at um, a more complicated control this control uses a a map and it's great for uh, collecting lat long information if you do anything that requires geospatial uh, processing. This control has two fields and a button to, that will trigger a leaflet map layout when you click it so that you can select the lat long location. When you use uh, frameworks like Knockout, Angular, and things, other frameworks that use uh, two-way binding, in this context, one of the biggest problems or annoyances I found is that when you change the lat long information of one box, the map will try to adjust before you've updated or changed the um, second text box. So because everything's so tightly bound, the reaction of the map um, starts to uh, be jerky as you enter the lat long information on every change of a text box. But Nimble uses a push-pull method, which will enable the data to be um, pushed into the data and not affect the map until you want it to. Once you click the map button, it will display this custom control that is directly li linked to the leaflet JS library. I've already built this library, I've built this uh, component and I have it on a test, but I'm going to rebuild it for this example so you can test the component without, uh, <coughs> without seeing it in action. So I'm not going to build it as a web component. I'm going to build it as a standalone surface dialog. After the app is complete, Nimble will launch the control desktop, and you have an example here of the lat long control in action. The leaflet map allows you to select lat long coordinates and it'll push them to the corresponding uh, fields. You'll notice that I added some code so that if the control is near the edge of the screen the map will auto adjust to a place so that the map is always visible for the user. I've added the drag property to this particular control so you can always drag the object for this uh, if you need it for this um, sample. So let's take a look at the same control in action. In this demo, we're using the same uh, dynamic digest routine that goes to random user me. And we just added a lat long control built right into this dialog. So when I get data, it pulls in data from the view. And let's say I wanted to apply a location to this person. Now we have all that information perfectly um, on this view. But this lat long map component is, sep is a separate uh, web component that was built in Nimble. If I simply uh, start the Um, development tools in Chrome, I can view the app that I'm currently working on, which is the model, the Dyna Digest model uh, dialog, and I can 
pull the data off the model. Remove all breakpoints. When I pull the data off the model, you will notice it pulls in all of the fields, password, picture, username, name and location. Name and location because they were brought in as an object from the rest call are, an, are, are represented as individual objects with the fields within them. But one field is added called widget one which is the name that we gave these, this web control when we placed it on the web, on the uh, dialog. Inside it has the lat long information on the view. To give you a quick example of how we can adjust this, let's um, make a variable and it equals to the current map object. Sorry. Now I have all the information that's currently on the view. If I adjust the latitude of widget 1 to negative 50, and then I go to the model and push this object back to the model, this value should change to negative 50. That's how fast and that's how easy it is for Nimble to manipulate data to and from the view. The fact that all of the data binding logic is refactored into one single command means there is a standard for getting all data in and all data out of a view. And it makes all of your apps start to follow a, a coherent, logical development standard. Thank you for watching.